Hey everybody, today we're talking about units of measure. I'd like to tell you about Pete's pet parakeet, Polly, who flew into this pear tree. And then did Pete need an 8-foot ladder or an 8-inch ladder to help get him down? Well, I hope he picked the 8-foot ladder because that makes a lot more sense. These units of measure, like feet and inches, are all around us. And it's good to know how they relate to one another and how to convert between them. We have two primary systems of measure. One is customary, and here we have the different units of measure for weight and liquid volume and length. And it's good to remember which ones are the smaller ones and which ones are the bigger ones. That's going to help you know whether you should multiply or divide when it's time to convert. So let's practice one of those. Here we have pounds and ounces, and I've reminded you that a piece of bread is about an ounce and a loaf of bread is about a pound. So the pound is the bigger unit of measure. So to get from that bigger unit of measure to the smaller one, we multiply is correct. And we are given the equivalent one pound equals 16 ounces, which tells us that we can multiply by 16. Good job. So 16 times 5 will tell us that. 80 ounces are in 5 pounds. Let's try one for volume. You're familiar with milk. Maybe you've seen a quart of milk and a gallon of milk. The gallon's bigger, right? So we're going from the smaller unit to this bigger unit. Well, how are we going to do that? If you said divide, you are correct. And we are given again that there is 4 quarts in 1 gallon, so we know that we can just divide by 4. And 20 divided by 4 is? Five. So 5 gallons in 20 quarts. Pretty easy, right? How about one for length? Well, a baseball bat's about a yard, and a piece of paper's about a foot. So the foot is the smaller unit of measure. So we're going from the smaller unit to this bigger unit. So that is division, correct. And we are given that there are three feet in one yard. So that means when we're solving this line down here, we can divide by three. If we divide 210 by 3, we get 70 yards is equal to 210 feet. Okay, so those are some samples with your customary. Do you know what the other system is? Correct, it's metric. And we have these different units of measure for mass and capacity and length. And again, we just kind of want to know how these relate to one another. It will help us with converting. Let's try converting with mass. So here we have mass in kilograms and grams, and the paper clip's about a gram, and the textbook's about a kilogram. So the textbook is heavier, so we're going from this bigger unit to this smaller unit. And to do that, we're going to multiply. We're given that one kilogram is a thousand grams, so there's your conversion. We're just going to multiply 10 by 1,000, and that will give us 10,000. Okay, let's try one for capacity. A liter is about this water bottle here, and then a milliliter is just this little drop over here. So to get from that little drop to this liter, we need to divide. And we are given that there's 1,000 milliliters in one liter, which means we are dividing by 1,000. Okay, well this one's a little different, right? We weren't given the number to start with because normally we would take this number and divide, but we're not given that number. So we have to do the opposite. If we were going to divide by 1,000 to get to 10, then to get the other direction, we have to multiply by 1,000. And again, that is 10,000. Okay, one last one here with length in the metric system. We've got a meter is about the length of a guitar. A centimeter is very small, about the length of this fly. So we're going from the small unit to this bigger unit. That means we divide, correct? Hello, are you listening? Hello. And now to get from 2,100 to this magical number, we need to divide by 100. Excellent. Divide by 100, and we learn that 21 meters is equal to 2,100 centimeters. Okay, so do you have the time for one more sample? <laughs> See what I did there? Okay, here we're going to do minutes and seconds. And to get from minutes to seconds, we need to multiply by 60. So to get from 12 minutes to seconds, we'll multiply by 60. 60 times 12 is, anyone? 720. So 720 seconds equals 12 minutes. There you have it. You, too, can convert units of measure.